Welcome back to lesson 2. In part 2 we're going to look at creating an enemy character but this one is going to be static in nature, he's not going to move. Let's get started. So, we have our game world and we have our character that we made in the last tutorial who can move around the screen. What we need to do now is we need to use the object tool or the Kodo button and we need to click on the ground with our left mouse button and select a character. The first character I'm going to use is going to be the cannon because frankly it looks awesome. Now what we want to do now is we want to code the character or program the character by right clicking and going to the program option in the sub menu. Again we're presented with the when and do options so to begin with we're going to say when and at this point because our character isn't moving we want him to be looking for our character. So we're going to use the option when he sees and then we're going to add another option here and we're going to say when he sees the cycle which is me. At this point the do menu we need him to do something and in this instance I want him to shoot at me. So I'm going to select do and from this menu there's plenty of different options but you can see down here it says shoot. So when he sees me he's going to shoot and I'm going to tell him what type of ammunition to use and he's going to use the missile. That's all the coding that needs to be done at the moment but let's test this and see what happens. If I play at this point in time you'll see immediately he's shooting at me and boom I'm dead. The reason for this is because I've only got 50 hit points and the missile actually takes off 50 hit points exactly. We can change this later. But to begin with, we need to stop him shooting at me as soon as I start the level. So, what we're going to do next then is we're going to program him a little bit differently. Just to prove the point, if I put him right at the top corner here and play the game again, immediately he shoots again. So there's nothing I can do about that, I need to change him now, otherwise he'll be shooting all the time. So, let's go back and reprogram our enemy. So the first thing is, when we see the cycle, he can see anywhere at this point in time. We've not told him how close or how far or if it's in front or behind. So we're now going to modify this to say see cycle and then we're going to add one more option and it's in the options menu here to say when we see him close by. Now at this point, if I test the game again, what you'll see is that I can now move without being shot and only when I get reasonably close from behind, there we go, is he going to shoot me. That's still not ideal though, because realistically, if we're trying to sneak up on somebody, we don't want him to be able to see behind. So the final change I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to program, I'm going to cut this tile by right clicking and cutting the tile, and then I'm going to go back and add a different option this time to say when I see him in front. Now we've got the perfect scenario for this type of game where I can sneak up behind him and he doesn't see me, doesn't see me, doesn't see me and get right up there and then when I go around the side, boom, he finally sees me and he shoots me. That's your static character. Have a play and enjoy. 